What's going on summoners? Welcome to another Pro Guides video. I'm Crumbs and today we're going to be talking about the 10 best solo carries on patch 1216. These are the champions that are over tuned enough to hard carry games and are considered safe to blind pick with little to no bad matchups that can completely shut you down. Do note that the champions in this video are generally the most meta picks for their role and as a result most of them are picked or banned pretty frequently. If you're looking for champions to play that are much less contested, check out our top 3 champions to main series. The champs in those videos are still strong enough to carry with, but they're low in both pick and ban rate, meaning you're much more likely to get your hands on them. And one last thing before we jump into the video, I just want to give a shout out to our coaches over at ProGuides.com. Our meta videos and guides are a great way to give you a push in the right direction, but if you're super serious about climbing, you'll want to go check those guys out. They're all top level players and they're available 24 seven, just waiting to share everything they know with you. So stop grinding your face into the wall alone and head over for some professional help now. We'll be starting things off in the top lane with Quinn. Plenty of people like picking ranged top laners to try and bully their foe. It sounds like an easy way to auto win lane, right? If your opponent is melee, you just poke, poke, poke them down and there isn't much they can do about it. They might even tilt and rage quit. But in practice, it usually doesn't go that well. Those champions may be annoying in the first couple of levels, but they're super susceptible to all lanes later on in the lane. But Quinn has the tools to crush lane the entire time. Her E and Q are really OP disengage tools, making her impossible for opponents to force all ins. As long as you don't just spam them on cooldown, you're untouchable. Another key point in her success is she doesn't just win her lane. You can use early leads to affect the rest of the map really quickly thanks to her ult. You can swoop down a river fights, help with invades, and even take the time to gank mid. Going all the way to bot is a bit of a stretch though, and probably not something you want to do during laning phase, but it's something you can do, which no other top laner can. Out of lane, however, the entire map is your territory. Anytime you see someone pushing up too far alone, you should be able to hunt them down and take them out. Our other top laner is Garen. While he is the poster child of noob friendly picks for top laners, don't mistake being easy for having a low amount of carry potential. Garen is a pick that's pretty strong at all levels of play. In fact, being so simple just makes him even easier to carry with. Instead of worrying about mechanics, you just have to worry about decision making. Learning when you can trade and when your opponent is low enough to go for an all in is all about all there is to it. And with Garen's ridiculous damage output, the answer to both of those is almost all the time. In fact, his damage is so high that out of lane, he basically plays like an assassin more than a juggernaut. If you can get onto an AD carry, you pretty much one shot them every single time. For summoners, any combination of flash, ghost and ignite is good. Flash Ghost is pretty ideal for out of lane and ignite can help secure early kills so you can snowball harder and faster. Moving on to the jungle, the first pick we have is Master Yi. I mean, who better for a list of solo carries than one of the most 1v9 champions of all time? Obviously, he lacks a bit in early pressure, so you'll have games here and there that are over before you even get the chance, but his scaling is so insane that those games are pretty few and far in between. While it takes about three items to start hard carrying full on team fights, you only need one to be able to 1v1 other champions and fight small skirmishes. Once you're at that point, you just need to path well and choose your battles wisely to win your games. As far as his build goes, you can of course still go for the Sunfire build. You could argue that it's a bit more well-rounded since you can serve as a frontliner a bit better with it, but this video is for solo carries. Of course, we're gonna just give the max damage build for more hard carrying power. Our other jungle pick for today is Mordekaiser. This big old beefy boy may not have Yi's extreme DPS, but he makes up for it by being an extremely hard to bring down Colossus of a Juggernaut. And it's not like his damage is bad. With how long you live in fights, his slow burn style of killing foes still allows you to easily bring down your enemies. The only weakness he has is actually getting onto targets, but running Ghost solves that pretty handily. If you need even more sticking power, it can help to rush Rylice as your first item. You'll do a bit less damage and be squishier, but you should still very easily be able to 1v1 people in your ult. 
Now for the mid lane, the first pick we have is Swain. To me, there's no contesting the fact that he's overall the best mid in the game right now. He has a really solid laning phase and spikes tremendously hard in the mid game. Once you're level 11 and have two items, you just become an unkillable Demon King. He's too tanky and heals way too much for the other team to just nuke you down at the start of fights, but he also does way too much AoE damage to just ignore. Since his mid scope update, as long as you stay on at least one opponent, his ult will last indefinitely. That's why I highly recommend running Flash Ghost instead of taking something like TP or Ignite. Our other OP mid laner is Cannon. He makes the list for his insanely powerful team fighting. Generally, when it comes to AoE ults, you have your engaged champs that CC to start things up and then the follow up damage comes after. But Cannon is a two in one package deal. A flash ult W combo can instantly nuke the entire enemy team, setting up your allies for an easy cleanup job. In the build we gave for Kennen, we have Zhonyas all the way at the end because we don't really think it's as much of a priority on him as people make it out to be. It may sound synergistic, but the whole point of your ult is to crowd control and nuke the enemy team. If you just build more damage, you simply wouldn't even need the defensive active. Your opponents will just be dead. And that brings us to today's question of the day. What are some other overused items and runes? Bad items or runes are some of the worst new baits in League. A lot come to mind for me, but we want to hear from you, so let us know your answers down in the comments below. Now let's get back on topic. Now that we're in the bot lane, here's a familiar face for you. It's Heimerdinger. Overall, he's definitely the best pick you can go with for bot lane. He dominates lane with his constant shoving and poking power. Usually, the answer to that playstyle is to force a hard engage, but against Heimer, that's pretty much suicide. Anyone that goes in gets met with a grenade, with the stun giving him enough time to waddle back to safety while your opponent gets wrecked by your turrets. He also has insane team fighting. He consistently pumps out high DPS, which can be turned way up with an ult turret. Alternatively, you can just use his grenade with his ult if you need the extra AoE CC, especially when fighting in a choke point. Oh, and did I mention, at 20 minutes, you can always do Baron with him. He also has flexible itemization. The items we have here are for burstier damage and for killing squishies, but you can also go Leandris and Demonic Embrace to shred through tanks as well. Our other bot lane carry is Misfortune. While Heimer is definitely our definitive pick for bot lane carries overall, if you're the type of player that just has to play a traditional marksman, then she's at the least the best in that category. She bullies lane incredibly well with hard hitting poke, strong bursty trading, and a ridiculous all in at level 6. A lot of people complain that MF's damage kind of falls off late game, but I don't really know where that's coming from. I mean, she won't shred through tanks and juggernauts with auto attacks like a real hyper carry will, but it should never come down to that. A well placed ult is all you really need to wipe out the entire enemy team. For her items, one adjustment that we find is really good in some games is taking Bloodthirster over the Collector. The Collector definitely gives you more damage, but BT gives you a lot of safety since your autos will heal you for a ton, and the shield makes it so you don't lose your bonus movement speed when you take little bits of damage. Now for our support, the first pick we have is the Sad Mummy Amumu. He's by far the best engaged support in the game right now. His double bandage toss provides a lot of damage and lockdown potential, so when paired with an aggressive AD carry, you can very easily scoop up kills when you land them. And post 6, the all-in potential is ridiculous. With his damage alone, you can practically solo kill squishy bot laners. You just need your AD carry to move up and right click, and it's basically guaranteed kills. Out of lane, his ability to set up the team for easily one fights is pretty much unmatched. Even when behind, a good flash R can completely turn things around. And last on our list, we've got Zyra. No, this was not alphabetically ordered, but if you like to be in complete control of how the laning phase goes, she's a champion you 100% need to have in your arsenal. She's by far the most lane dominant pick you can go with. Her constant shoving and poking is really unbearable, but if the enemy bot lane goes for an all in, they'll lose that too. That's especially true post six. Zyra's ult does huge burst, gives extra crowd control, and the huge boost to her plant's attack speed makes them shred any opponents in the area. Honestly, with how much damage she does, we have to stop calling Zyra a support. She's just a bot lane secondary carry that doesn't need to CS to win her team the game. 
And that's a wrap for our 10 best solo carries patch 1216 edition. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe so you never miss out on our meta guides and so you're always in the loop on what the best picks are. Remember to let us know what items and runes you think are super overused down in the comments below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss League further or just hang out and be a part of our community. I can't wait to see you guys back for the next video, but until next time, as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP gods smile down upon you.